back to the prep yeah. picks report first and 15. 15 minutes devoted exclusively to our big game on the on the campus of Helix High. The Scotties up heading, handing St. Augustine their first defeat of the year. I can kind of do the statistics by a rote. The offense compiled 380 yards against a defense that had given up next to nothing all season long. A hunt, believe it or not, this is this their is season. St. defense you're talking about. Prior to this game, 147 yards total for the year, seven yards rushing total for the year. And they also picked off uh, the defense, four turnovers. If you can get four turnovers in a game, you're going to do pretty good. But let's talk about Saints first-year coach Joe Kramer coming in, taking over a program as successful as that program, and replacing, you know, an iconic Coach Sanchez. How difficult a task, and how well is he doing making that happen? I think he's doing great, and, you know, our previous guests talked about Helix and, and what they have and the tradition they have there. It's the same thing at Saints. Um, it's just a way of life there for them, these, these big programs. He's done a great job. He's retained a lot of the coaches. Um, Coach Sanchez obviously went on to the Aztecs, but just doing an amazing job. I mean, this was just a stacked team in Helix, and people don't realize how good they are because of the record, but doing an amazing job there. All right, and then uh, we, we should mention it, we're, we're going to do a tie-in to the Big Pig on campus. Can you talk a little bit? about the Spanos All-Star Game that's still going to be played here and how it's going to tie into the Big Pig on campus. So we are going to have the Alex Spanos, not the Dean Spanos, the Alex Spanos <laughs> All-Star Game. Um, it's going to be December 15th, um, 3 o'clock at Mesa College. Um, we've decided to tie in anybody that wins the Big, Big Pig on, on campus, campus is automatic uh, bid in, if you're a senior, <laughs> to play in that game. To play in the game. So you, you are now part of that game. I mean, what, is there anything you don't have your finger in? As a former Charger, do you feel an obligation to help them out with their All-Star game, or is that just something you're doing because you want to help the high school kids around here? You know what? I'm part of the High School Sports Association board. Um, probably been doing it for four years now, and we pretty much put the game on. The Chargers just give a donation and support it a lot more this year. But I think it's important. You know, people don't realize what left the community with the blood drive, these, you know, all-star games for the kids and some other things. So it's important for the kids. I think it's great for the kids. It used to be the premier game, and we want to make it the premier game. Again. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep, keep plugging that because uh, we did a big uh, inside – Insiders looked at that game a few years back, and I thought it was a real special deal. I, it is, I, I actually, still think it is. It's good. All right, uh, before we get to our next thing, how relieved is Coach Owens and Helix tonight? I think very relieved. I, I, the territory of being one and four is just something that doesn't happen at Helix. So alien to them. Yeah, so they wouldn't. I don't know if they know how to handle it. It really, in the first half, looked like it might go that way. I mean, Saints had their number, but you know, they made some great halftime adjustments. That's the funny thing I see in high school football now that you never used to see. You know, we showed the prompters on the side, and they have live live game film where they can make these adjustments that you never saw before. Bert? Yes. Your night is over. Yes. Folks, the party is just getting started. However, what's coming up on the Week 5 edition of the Prep Picks Report, you ask? Mike Milburn has the answer. Hey, guys. Mike Milburn here for the Prep Pigskin Report. You just saw the highlights of the Cox Communications game of the week between St. Augustine and Helix. But we are hard at work right now putting the Week 5 edition of the PPR together for you. Our sounds of the game this week will feature Lincoln's Peanut Monroe and our in-studio guest, what's a grand four? Well, it's Casey Grand Fours of UC. You're going to want to see what he has to say. The Week 5 edition of the Prep Pigskin Report starts in two minutes.